Hi, welcome to PCI Tech TV. We're going to take a look at a quick tip that will save a lot of time. Today's quick tip is copying GCPs from one image to another image in an overlap area. So for this, let's quickly open up an OrthoEngine project file that we already have GCPs collected for. We'll just minimize this. And then we're going to go down, sorry, to the GCP tie point collection processing step. We're going to open up our Collect GCPs Manually button. Just move this to the side for now. We're going to open up one image. This is our rightmost image. We'll make it quite a bit smaller for now. And then we'll also do the same with our left image. We'll just zoom to overview here so we can see, as denoted by the tie points, where the overlap area exists. So we'll just turn the tie points off for now. We once again go to overview here. We'll turn these tie points off as well. So we want to add a few GCP or a GCP in this area. So we want to copy one of these GCPs and put it onto this image here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that this is my working image. I'll zoom in to find an appropriate GCP that I wish to use. So, if I wish to use this one, I can then use this tool here to select the GCP. It'll show up here, and as you can see, this other image, our reference image in this case, automatically zooms to the approximate geographic location, as based on the math model for this image. So, what we want to do is, now that we have this one selected in the viewer, we want to make this other image our working image. And when we do that, you can see that the pixel and line information are now removed, but it still retains the easting and northing as well as the elevation values from this GCP. So we can now just zoom in a little bit more. As I said, it finds the approximate position. We can adjust it slightly so that we feel that it's in, that it's appropriate. And once we're happy with our position of that GCP, we just simply go use point we can then go accept, update the model, and it adds that point to this image. Now, thank you for watching this version of Tech Tips.